Well, 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 welcome back, gentles and ladiesmen, to episode 9 of Let's Play Dinkle King Country 2. Today we're kicking things off with the lovely Gloomy Gulch, which seems to be fan favorite world for a lot of folks, but uh, I'm not sure where I'd rank it myself. I mean, I, I enjoy it, but uh, my favorite world is still coming up. And there are only a few left, so you could probably guess which one it is. But this is basically the, the haunted world in the game. Uh, there's some more extra li life balloons up there if you if you need them. Smoke if you got them. And I realized uh, in between episodes here that I forgot to conclude my Mega Man discussion. And, but who knows? By the time this part comes out, it will probably the video itself will probably be out. But 8 bits. There are 8-bit demakes of Mega Man 7 and 8, and it was basically like, do I do them? Uh, do I not do them? Is it even fair to do a remake or rebreak on them because they're deliberately trying to downgrade the game to make it NES-like? That's the whole point. Because, like, if I were to just, you know, review them the normal way, then it'd be like, of course the originals are better. They have better graphics and sound. And there are a couple of other things that I don't like about the remakes as well, but... It wasn't really the point. The point was to make them look like NES games, and... At that, they succeed, but it's just like, I don't know. So, I don't know, I guess I was planning on just shoving out a quick 7 and 8 video, but then, as it turns out, these remakes exist, so now I've got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do with them. And, I don't know, I guess by the time this this Let's Play episode comes out, that episode, there or that question will have already been answered. Hmm. Somewhere in the stage is our golden feather, and it's hidden in a pit, much like that DK coin was, which is more obscure one, by the way. Ah, there it is. Alright, we're all set then. You can just finish the level. That, that bonus room up there can be a bit tricky to get to. And I do find it is a little bit harder to see that DK coin location in this version of the game, because obviously... Uh, vertical resolution in the original was bigger, was taller, it was easier to see what was below the stage that you knew, oh, I've got to go down there. Like, I know that when I was doing my practice run, uh, I had difficulties finding that DK coin again because of the way that the camera works. I figured that the camera would pan down a little bit more, but, you know. So I guess I am discovering little, little instances here and there where I do think that uh, I was enjoying, or that the original version was a little, it's a little bit easier to do certain things. And, like, uh, making it a really easy jump. Like that one. And it looks like we've got one more bonus room we've got to nab here. Take that, Cloak. And I hope you guys have been practicing up on your rolls, because they're never going to stop being useful, my lovelies. And, yeah, this, this, these ghost ropes are a little bit more difficult to deal with. There are ghost barrels in DKC3 that look just like those. Like, they have the same face on them. This is such a strange idea, though. Ghost ropes? It sounds like an innuendo. Like, uh... Oh, I gave her the ghost rope last night. I'm never gonna talk about sex on the show again. Anyways, there's, uh, looks like that we got that one already. Oh, shite! Alright, we made it this time. Alright, now I just gotta wait for this guy to come back. And... I'm dead. Alright, for LP's sake, I think it's high time we swapped over to Trixie Kong. That'll make things a lot easier. And skip some of the shite. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of amazing what the helicopter spin can do to some of the level design in this game. Uh, but, you know, I don't regret it. Because it's in the game, so it's not cheating. 
And now we're fucked. Looks like I'm gonna have to time my jumps a bit more carefully now. Oh, you have to be a little bit more patient. Actually, no, this isn't the stage I'm thinking of. There's one later on that has a golden feather, like, above the goal. Some of these stages can be a bit... irksome, we'll say. After my starring role in DKC, I thought I'd be the main character this time, not stuck in this gloomy shed. I reckon you should spend all your coins here. Things are starting to look up on this level. Get it? Here's a tip that I think's great. The door is by the clamp on, and so is the crate. Finishing this level is cause for celebrations. By mean, all means, go over the top. Where you find one, there may be two. To the left of the letter O is where you should go. K. Rule is no fool. He has two big blue goons watching his horde near halfway. And we have one more feather, so we might as well plop it in. And we'll just leave. Should be real easy for you now. All right. And so now it's time for our third roller coaster stage in the game. And I should... Yeah, it looks like you can still get it even if you only have Dinky King. Uh, but that's that that was our golden feather for the stage so you can see that this level is more like a minecart carnage uh, the first minecart stage in DKC one where you were on one minecart or I'm um, rather one roller coaster the whole time uh, and it jumps with you so that that was cranky's hint coming in useful if you jump on top of that area you will find the second of two bonus rooms that's actually kind of a cleverly hidden one. But not obscure, I'd say, especially since uh, Crinkle Crane told us how to get to it. And there you go. Yeah, one can be a bit tricky. And if you fuck up, then you just get ejected back out of the stage again, so... You wanna be careful. You, you basically have to kill yourself to try again, like a returns game. Alright, here we have another Collect Stars one. One's pretty easy, as long as you're jumping constantly, you should nab quite a few stars. And that's all there is to it. So, I mentioned near the la at the end of the last episode when I was blabbing on about sound quality again. About, you know, pre-recorded and... Yeah, you guys don't want to hear me talk more about that, but... I did mention that there's some tracks in this game that I think didn't really end up sounding all that great, even considering the hardware differences, and this is one of them. Uh, I am not a huge fan of Haunted Chase in this version of the game. And Disco... not... Disco Train's another one that I didn't think ended up so great. I think I, I was... wanted to say that, but I got cut off. Or cut off by having to talk about something else, because there's always something to talk about in these damn LPs. And here I thought I wouldn't have enough to say, but evidently the problem's the opposite. Uh, obviously the gimmick of the stage is... And now I have to kill myself. There is a bonus room down there, so you don't want to miss that. I think there was a similar jump you could do in Minecart Carnage. Where, like, if you if you jumped early, you could land on a ledge and get a free extra mount, extra balloon. Uh, but obviously the gimmick of the stage is that there are plus and minus barrels in a time limit. And we have this giant Kremlin ghost chasing us. And what happens is, if the time runs out, the ghost will become physical. Uh, he will cease being transparent, and then he will attack you, and you'll lose one of your Kong. So, uh, by grabbing the plus barrels and avoiding the minus barrels, you keep your time extended. And it's, it's, it's neat. Like, clearly, whoever designed the stages in this game had a strong grasp of, of good difficulty design. I say, as they go careening off the edge. Uh, and they have to kill ourselves again. And it's only in these mu- I think this is like the only- One of the few bonus rooms in this game where I find that that's necessary to have to kill yourself to try again. But, you know, still. But, you know, strong approach to difficulty design here. Where every- where like, they introduce little ideas and give you a taste for it. 
Then they add in new elements and mix and match them in different ways. And then by the end, in the final section of the stage you'll see, we'll, be, we'll have both green and red barrels to grab. Whilst avoiding bottomless pits and stuff. So there's always something new happening. There's always an ex ex acceleration, an expansion of challenge. There, an acceleration of challenge. There you go. There's always something new happening, even though it's using stuff you're familiar with, and I just barely missed that fucking jump. I know, maybe the minecart controls were floatier in the original, but I'm not so certain about that. But, uh, I digress. Nab Diddy her Dinky Kong real quick. Diddle King. And we'll hop our way over these barrels again. Ugh, it's one of those bonus rooms that I can do easily when I'm not recording footage, you know what I'm saying? I suppose most of you won't because you don't make LPs, but... Recording curse is real, it's, it's nothing to trifle with, my, my lovelies. Right, I'm gonna focus this time. There we go! That's all there is to it. I say, after taking like six tries to fucking get that one coin. But, after this we're pretty much on the clear, this is the section I was alluding to. You have plus barrels and minus barrels, grab the plus ones, avoid the minus ones. I find that, uh, you can maybe miss one barrel and still get through just fine, uh, without losing a Kong friend. But, you know, obviously give it your best shot. Let's see. There we go. And that's it. And I think we have something hidden up there. Oh! Can't forget about this. Alright, uh, let's see if we can't get that extra life. And that's it. Now our lives are maxed out again. Everything's right in the world. Alright. That's, that's Haunted Hall all over and done with. Then we get to, uh, not one of my favorite levels in the game. Uh, starting off, though, we do have a couple secrets here. Uh, we have Radley, and we have a scrapbook photo, so make sure you go back there. I'm pretty sure that photo is of Radley. Now, I find that Radley makes this level a lot dip more difficult. Uh... It's specifically in this version, like, I don't know, maybe I could go play the SNES version again, maybe if I were to do that, uh, I would find that, no, he's, it's just this version, but I'm not so certain about that. Uh, it's, I mean, most of the level is fine, like this part I can control no problem, especially when I'm looking at, you know, my DS screen. Uh, but there's a part coming up that is basically a Kaizo trap. And obviously, uh, Radley can jump in midair. Which is a very useful skill indeed. Kills Clamp on real quick. Oh, I think they forgot to change that A to an R. Oh, you, get, you just gotta make sure you stand up at the very edge of that platform. Because what happens is, you have to do a super jump to clear that gap. Like, if you're just the Kongs and you don't bother with uh, Radley, then you could just jump up the hooks and... You know, probably just use a team-up move to, to get this part, but... Uh, I guess since we carried Radley to the end, we'll get our little animal bonus. When I did my practice playthrough, I had issues timing that jump correctly, because, like, you have the wind pushing you the other way, so if you... So what would happen is, you'll do your super jump, and then it will go... Yeah, there we go. Alright, so this is a tricky jump right here. We've got these two zingers. And you have our wind, and I jumped at the precise millisecond that won't get you across, but... He made it to the halfway point, at least, so we should be okay, fam. Alright. You got our Cranon here. Brian Cranon. And I believe our K is in there, but you don't need that. So the gimmick with this jump, you've got these two zingers here. You gotta time the jump so that they're out of the way. But you also want the wind, because that's gonna... <sighs> Recording curse, 
Recording curse. Oh, that was a tight one. All right, now we have our cannonball at the cannon. Now we can collect the stars. All right, so this should be pretty simple. It's Tracker Barrel Trek, my friends. You remember that level from DKC3, which is actually quite a decent level. Just jump up there, and that's all there is, folks. Another simple, straightforward bonus room. None of that collect the green disappearing bananas shit. All right, you got another cannon coming up, so... I believe our DK coin is on the horizon here. At the top of this, so obviously the wind is our gimmick here. Depending on where it's pushing you, it'll make things easier or harder. It's a concept from Super Mario Bros. The Lost Level is done right. This isn't actually the only time we'll be seeing that in this game. Alright. Make sure that you do not jump on that target before getting that feather, or you will have to play this whole level again. And I do think you will be needing both of your Kongs to get up there. Because that hook is just a bit out of reach. I had to play through that level like five times to get that golden feather in my practice run, so... Oh, they... Careful with that one, my, my folks. Actually, we're gonna... Oh, okay. We're gonna come back to Wrinkly later, because I, I want to make sure that we have enough banana coins to finish off the Swanky first. Come on, let's have a round of applause for them! Lockjaws loot my bodies. What is the name of this area of the island? Gloomy Gulch. You know, I just realized after 50 playthroughs of this game that they ask you what the name of the world is every single time. How many little wasps did the end of area giant wasps break up into? That'd be five. What is the name of the trendy surfing Kong who operates his crazy flights? That would be Funky. Yeah, Chunky is actually a name. I wonder if they changed the na one of the answers in light of DK64. wonder if you, w if you were to go back to Donkey Kong Country 2 on SNES if it would still say Chunky in it. What is the name of the forest level with the blowing wind in it? And that's a gusty glade. On the Crocodile Isle map, how many small wasps hover on the wasp hives? Three? Okay, what is the name of the Kremlin Island that you're on? It's Crocodile Isle. Alright. And I'm actually gonna come back and grab that one in just a minute, folks. I gotta check in on something. Right, sorry about that, folks. I'm back, uh, and I believe I left where I left off. We <laughs> have one more quiz left. Step right up, it's your lucky day here on my bonus bonanza. I know you're gonna win the big one. Which of these is not the name of an area of the, area of the island you've played? That'd be Crocodile Canyon. What is your swordfish buddy's name? on guard. How many world map globes are there on the shelves in Kong College? Uh, that's two. And that's it. All right, the little monkey is a winner. Everyone is a winner here. Except the people who don't win. <laughs> and I think this is... Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's about all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so join me next time in episode 10, and we will continue with uh, Gloomy Gulch. So, yeah, until next time, I'm Exo, and I hope you enjoyed the episode.